Good morning, my name is Ralph Freaks. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back radio show, in combination with the YouTube version video on the Take Your Life Back Today show on YouTube. A woman tells pastor, I won't be going to your church anymore, she says. There's no better way to make a point than the use of an analogy. You know, when someone explains something using different examples to um, express similarities, and there's no one who uh, uses analogies better than a church pastor. Pastor Andy Harris of the Church of the Cross in Horton, Louisiana, shared a story on his Facebook page about a woman who made the decision to leave her church after she was uh, burnt by uh, some others in the congregation. And does that sound familiar? It's not stated whether or not Pastor Andy's story was a real life example, but its reliability and the analogy that it paints is enough to sell us on its message either way. His viral post has now uh, been shared over 220,000 times. As the story goes, a woman approached her pastor to inform him that she'd no longer be attending his church. Hmm. Perplexed by her decision, the pastor pressed her as to why she decided that. Ah, I saw a woman gossiping about another member, a man that is a hypocrite, the worship team living wrong, people looking at their phone during service, among so many other things wrong in your church, she replied, to the pastor. The pastor was sad to hear her reasoning, but not surprised, as he heard it all before. That's why he let her go, but not before uh, she did one final thing for him. But before you go, do me a favor, the pastor said. Take a full glass of water and walk around the church three times without spilling a drop on the ground. Afterward, leave the church if you desire. That's a good one. An odd request to say the least. But the woman knew it would be a piece of cake. She followed his uh, instructions, walked three times around the church with her, gla uh, her full glass of water, and returned it to him. She says, task completed. My friends, the pastor prompted her with just one more thing before she left. What do you think that thing was? Before you leave, I want to ask you one more question. When you were walking around the church, did you see anyone, anyone at all gossiping? She said, no. Then he asked if she'd spotted any hypocrites or come across anyone on their phones. Again, the woman responded, no. And the pastor offered up the perspective of shattering thought, provoking analogy that would leave even some non-believers shouting, Amen. You were focused on the glass to make sure you didn't stumble and spill any water. It's the same with our life. When we keep our eyes on Jesus, we don't have time to see the mistakes of others. We will reach out a helping hand to them and concentrate on our own walk with the Lord. The woman was very surprised. And that, my friends, is worthy. It's worthy of an amen. There, there are some signs that someone might be leaving the church, maybe in your church. Irregular attendance would be a sign. The first sign that a member is not satisfied at the church is when he or she stops attending worship service and other church events on a regular basis. Another sign would be if the giving stopped. A big sign is when a member stops giving, especially if he or had no problem giving before. The faithful member will reduce his usual ties and then stop giving altogether. A sign is when they're not involved in ministries. If a person has no interest in ministry, small groups, Bible study, or Sunday school, it might mean that a person is no longer interested in the church you are attending. They might not be fellowshipping with other members. When a person is not satisfied with the church, 
he might not want to communicate or fellowship with other members, my friends. These have all been signs. Walk around with a full glass of water. Don't pay attention to what's around you. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back and be good to yourselves and definitely be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can change their life and it can change your life forever also. Walk around in life, not just in church, with a full glass of water and don't 